August, watch Gordas. I'll miss you! Just hurry up. I don't like being alone with this... thing. <gasps> but I like you so much! Hey, have you got a plan for what to say to Scooter? Because he screwed him out of a lot of money for those caravan repairs. He could be angry. And I've heard stuff about what he did to the Zafford clan. Oh, Scooter's a solid guy. He's not gonna hold a tiny little con against us. I guess he does seem to like us. Yeah, maybe. It's my two favorite gals. Come to see your old sponsor, huh? How go the races? I know you sure like going fast, haha. <laughs> Wait, no, not like you're a fast woman or... Oh, shoot. Racing is going awesome. We just won the Grand Chalice and the Bad Attitude Crater Invitational, and I am, woo, tired from that. Uh, y'all know I was joking, right? I know you ain't really racers, but it ain't no big deal. Hell, I knew you was in trouble, and being lied to is one of the less horrific things that can happen to you out here. I'm just happy to see you. What can I do you for? Not saying that I want to do you or nothing, no. It's, uh, well, not that I'm saying I wouldn't, either. We need your help. Valerie's after us, and if we can't equip the caravan with a rocket and fly to Helios, we're all dead. Y'all need me? Oh, man. I've always wanted to be somebody's knight in shining armor, saving all their lives and whatnot. Well, you're not quite. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Just let him have this. I'm gonna be a hero! Woo! That all sounds great! Only problem is funding? No, don't worry about it. Valerie will pay for whatever we need to get to Helios, get the Gordas piece, and get out. I understood exactly half those words. Let's do it! Oh, wait, when I said that there was only one problem, I meant that there were two? Cause look, I know a lot about cars and I know a lot about engines. But rockets are right out of my purview. My business partner knows rockets like you wouldn't believe. But she's, uh, she's a little out of sorts. I don't know if she's in much shape to help with the rocket stuff. She's been like that since she... Heard about a couple of vault hunters nabbed her girlfriend out in the tundra. Athena? Oh, you know Athena? Man, small world. Yeah, we were there when it happened. Fiona was the last one with her. Then I don't know, maybe you could talk to Janie, let her know what's what. Set her mind at ease if you can. I know we've never met, but I was with Athena when, uh, she got taken. Yeah? Yeah. She talked about you a lot. Sure she did. She lied to me. Said she was on some delivery run. I really wanted to believe her. I did. But she forgot to turn her echo off the last time we spoke. Oh. I recognized your voice when you came in. You were out there with her. Her echo went dead after the fighting started. I couldn't... What was she doing? Why did she lie to me? I need to know. I know she wasn't on a delivery job. She was protecting us from Valerie. It's... It's my fault. If she hadn't been trying to keep me safe, they never would have gotten the drop on her. Oh. Are you angry at me? Kinda, yeah. But thanks for telling me. So what happened to her exactly? I've never seen Athena lose a fight. How'd she get grabbed? So long as she's got that shield, I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on her. Two Vault Hunters ambushed her. Which ones? Brick and, uh, Mordecai. She would have beaten them too if Valerie hadn't attacked. Brick. Mordecai. Good to know. Ha ha ha. This is kind of awkward. Change the subject. These nice ladies want us to build a rocket for them? What do you say? I don't know if I've got the parts. 
sure you do. Come on. You just got I just to... want to know one last thing, and then I'll see about the rocket. Did she say anything about me before they took her? The way she acted, sometimes I didn't even know if she liked me. She told me to pass on a message. She said she loves you. She did? I... Oh, goodness. Okay. Oh, wow. Young lady, you are going to have yourself a rocket. And once I'm done building it, I'm going to grab every gun I can carry, I'm going to drive out of here, I'm going to rescue my girlfriend, and I'm going to marry the piss out of her. I'm in. I can probably build you something that'll break Atmo, but beyond that, you'll want a mechanic on board to make sure it doesn't explode on you. Oh man, that sounds like a job for the scooter man if I ever heard one. And considering it's a dream of mine to catch a ride into space and all that... It's too dangerous. Deal. Okay, I heard one of y'all say deal, so let's go with that. Woo! Up top, space buddies! <sighs> hey. I'd rather deal with him for a few hours than be stranded up there with a busted engine. Yeah, I guess. Fine. Alright, here's how it's gonna go. The man with the plan right here is gonna track down the corpse. Hey, I get it. Off you go. All right, Reese. Let's just find Vasquez's body, get back here, and not crap our pants. Now you ah! are gonna have such a hard on for my office, Reese. It's, well, it's huge. Two out of three ain't bad. Uh, you know what? It's probably not a bad idea to get uh, a little dumpy rocking for some robo scouting. Yeah, yeah, let the shiny toaster get blown to nuts and bolts instead of us. Dumpy, I need you to go scout out ahead. Can you do that? Uh, that doesn't fill me with confidence. Dumpy, over there. Look at Dumpy go! Uh, back here again. Thought I'd close the book on this weird chapter of my life. That's it? I thought he'd be like, I don't know, helpful, or at the very least, an unwitting psycho decoy so we could escape with our faces intact. Nope. Just a tiny, floating shitty. -it. You see? I told you so. Wallet head. All right, wallet head. Time to show your face back on Helios. Face! Face is face! Has no face! Oh, you better hope a psycho didn't use it for a skin pizza. A skin pizza? Oh, God. What were the pepperonis? A skin pizza. Oh, you clearly uh, haven't I been can't. on Pandora mm -hmm. long enough, compadre. Uh -huh. Let's find Vasquez's face. Mm. And get out of here. You're the boss. You know what? Not to blow up your ego, kid, but I see a real future for you at Hyperion. It's kind of future where two like-minded masters of their own fates could deal some serious damage. Huh? If you do as I say, Hyperion may even name a ship after you someday. Company car, office with a view, ugh, unlimited free lunches. I've earned it all. Yeah, that's the spirit, and you'll get it. With my help. You gotta keep an eye on your friends during this Helios mission, huh?